Hi, this is Danielle Dawes with a tutorial for the alleyway stamps. I'm making a really simple card today using paper piecing and the set Kid and Caboodle. So I'm using the sailboat from that set. And first I'm just going to stamp it with some archival jet black ink onto three different pieces of my mind's eye coordinating paper. Now I've chosen blues because this is going to be a congratulations card, uh, most likely for someone who's just had a little boy. And I'm, paper I'm going to get all of these pieces ready for paper piecing, but I'll only use small bits of them. So I'm using my Zyron machine there uh, to make these bits into stickers. So I've cut them out roughly and I'm putting them through here so that it will make them into stickers. So th that tears off, you smooth down the top portion and peel it off. And then they have in fact become stickers. It's a really handy way to to do paper piecing so for the next part um, I'm just going to quickly color in the star there just using a Prismacolor pencil and then I'll trim out all of these pieces I'll only show you trimming one of them but uh, I will do the same thing for all of them one tip that I can give you for going around the curve on the bottom here is I tend to move the paper more than the scissors so I keep the scissors fairly stationary and just move the paper as I go. It just seems to make it a little bit easier for me. So on to making the actual card. I'm going to use some more uh, black archival ink to stamp it, to stamp the image in place where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use Versamark to stamp it uh, a couple more times either side, just to give a continuous look. I don't want the focus to be on the sides. So this is just going to create a, a watermark effect on the cardstock that I'm using, which is Basil Card Shop. So you can see there that the watermark effect uh, from Versamark really looks gorgeous um, on this, which is Peanut Cluster, and it will just give it a nice subtle effect while still allowing the paper piecing, which you'll see me put down in a moment, to pop off the card. So using that same yellow Prismacolor pencil, just colouring in the flag at the top. Now another tip for paper piecing is I get my Memento uh, black pen and I go around the edges of all the pieces. And the reason I do that is just so that you don't have any of the cut portions of any of the individual pieces. So it will all just stick down nice and neatly. Okay, from here, all I need to do is to take off the backing part, which is what's making the sticker. So you can see me do that here. You just need to get your nail underneath there if you can. And um, then I just place it along the straightest edge is probably the easiest way to do it. And then put each portion down. So I've chosen alternating uh, pieces of the, of the pattern to put on there for the, uh, the sail, just for a different kind of look. But as you remember, I did three boats initially, so I do have enough so that I can make two extra cards just using the same very tiny bits of paper. Just to add a little bit of depth, I'm going to be putting some charcoal. So I've just put a little bit of black charcoal here on a post-it note, and I'm using a color shaper just to add a little bit of shadow and dimension just at the bottom of the flags. And I'll also be using some on the bottom part of the boat just to give a little bit of depth. I'm not trying to create uh, realism here at all because it is using paper piecing, um, but I am trying to give it a little bit um, of depth. So charcoal is a really easy way to be able to add that little bit of shadow. The only other thing that I need to do now is add my sentiment. I'm going to use congrats from Jibber Jabber. So there you see the final piece. Thanks very much for watching.